Hello, and welcome to Elect Connect, a candidate forum brought to you by the Greater Bloomington Chamber of Commerce. I'm Thomas Curry, Public Policy Specialist and O'Neill Graduate Fellow with the Chamber, and I'm here with Jeff Bradley, who is running for Monroe County Circuit Court Judge. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Thank you to Comcast Business, Bungard Robertson, City of Bloomington, the German American Bank, Hoosier Energy, Indiana University, and Smithville Fiber. Thank you for making our work possible. And I'd like to introduce Mr. Bradley, Democrat, running in the Division One race for Mon Monroe County Circuit Court. Thank you, Mr. Bradley, for joining us today. And please begin a little bit by telling us why you're running for office and tell us a little bit about yourself. Great. Well, thank you so much for uh, having me and thank you for hosting this event. Um, again, my name is Jeffrey Bradley and a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky and I attended Indiana University from 1987 to 1994. So I earned my undergraduate degree in political science and Afro-American studies, and then I attended law school here as well. Um, I worked in Ohio as a prosecutor for seven years in Clinton County, Ohio. For, after that, for two years, I worked for the University of Kentucky as Assistant Director for Student Rights and Responsibilities, and then I moved back to Indiana uh, after working at the law firm of Ferguson Law uh, for two years as a law clerk, I became a prosecutor here in Monroe County in 2005. So called Monroe County my home uh, with my wife, Megan Ray, who I've met here at IU uh, when we were at Collins Living Learning mm -hmm. Center. And we have two children, uh, Catherine Bradley and John Wiley Bradley, um, who are seven and nine. Uh, so we're raising them here in um, Bloomington, along with our currently our dog, Boo. Uh, so <laughs> that's our family unit here uh, thus far. Um, as to why I'm running for office, as, as you heard from my background, I've been involved in public service uh, most of my life for the last 26 years. And so when the opportunity to run for judge uh, came up, it was something that I saw it as an opportunity to serve the public in just a, a slightly different manner, but still working in the public service field. And when we talk about becoming a judge, the things I looked at were the qualities that were important to bring to the bench would be as someone who has a commitment to um, fairness and equity, uh, the, that integrity, uh, my diversity of experiences, that versatility. Mm -hmm. um, I've looked at my background over the last 26 years and I felt like my work in the public sector as well as my work in the community, from different boards and organizations that I was involved in in Ohio and Indiana um, put me in a position to, I think positively, um, contribute to our local bench. And so, you know, I'm excited about that opportunity to uh, serve Monroe County in a, in a different manner. Oh, thank you for sharing that with us. All right, you talk a little bit about your values and, you know, your beliefs. Uh, what values will you bring to bear in your decision making to the bench? So one of the things that you always want to look for and I think the values I would bring would be is the, the judicial temperament. Um, mm -hmm. that's needed. So what you're asking for from a judge is someone who's going to be able to, uh, when parties come into the courtroom, to be treated fairly, uh, that everyone has an opportunity to be heard, that their um, issues, whether they're civil or criminal, are going to, everyone has an opportunity to be treated with fairness, uh, with um, compassion, with understanding. And when you make decisions that you're, mm -hmm. not only when you make a decision under the law and make a determination as to um, civil determinations or criminal determinations uh, that you're going to have the capacity to analyze the law, um, apply it to the specific facts that you're dealing with, and then have an ability to communicate with the, the parties as to the decisions you made, the, your basis and your reasoning behind it, and really what you want people to feel like when they're in the court system, because a lot of folks will only be in the court system one time in their life, if mm -hmm. at all. And so you really want them to feel like it's an opportunity to where uh, they're going to be heard, that they're um, going to have an opportunity to present their um, situation or cases, that you're going to listen, um, and that you're going to be meticulous in your analysis, and you're going to really make a decision not based on uh, my personal whims or my personal biases, but really you want to be a, an unbiased and neutral um, hmm. arbiter of, of these cases. So that's really what I think is important, and I think from my background, I've had an opportunity to uh, supervise individuals, uh, work on different teams, work as an individual, 
uh, working in university settings, working in prosecutor's offices, working on different boards and um, community organizations. So uh, this allowed me to hone the skills that I think are really important that you want uh, from, your, from a judge uh, mm -hmm. when they're listening to your cases. All right, well, great. Thank you again for taking the time to join us and helping to educate voters this, uh, this election. I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Thank you to Comcast Business, Bungard Robertson, City of Bloomington, German American Bank, Hoosier Energy, Indiana University, and Smithville Fiber. Please, consider voting early or voting by mail in the November 3rd general election. Uh, for more information, please check out these websites, monroecountyvoters.us and chamberbloomington.org backslash 2020 jazz general dash election. Thank you, Mr. Bradley, again. Thank you. Thanks for having me.